Hello students, let us start with the next part of the chapter that is the taxonomic categories. Hope you are following the videos nicely and we are uh, following, we are doing the chapter 1 and uh, we will be doing the next part of the topic that is taxonomic categories. So, in the previous lecture what we have discussed about classification, that is how to categorize the animals or the plants. So, uh, this classification is the process which is not a single step process, but it will involve a number of steps. So, when classification ko karenge, tab bahut sare steps ke upar dhyan dena padega. Aur ye classification ka jo study hai, this involves a number of steps. Each step will represent a rank or category. Jo bhi steps follow karte hue jayenge classification process mein, that represent a rank or category. And category is the part of overall taxonomic arrangement. Jo ye category hai, ye taxonomic arrangement ka main part hai. So, that is the, called the taxonomic category, which involves the base of classification. And all the categories together constitute the taxonomic hierarchy. Matlab, step by step, jo study hai, classification ka, isme kya dekha jayega categories. And categories together constitute what taxonomic hierarchy ek sath sare categories ko kya bol sakte hain hierarchy iska proper arrangement bhi hota hai baad mein hum log padhenge each category is referred to as the unit of classification ab jo category hai ek ek karke us category each category ka kya naam hai unit of classification so this will represent a rank and is commonly termed as what taxon so jab bhi hum log taxonomy ka study karenge तब जो different steps आएगा, this is called the unit of classification or the rank and the group of categories is called what taxonomic hierarchy. Each is called what a taxon, each level or each rank is called a taxon. जैसे कि insects, मतलब जो कीड़े मकोड़े हैं, insects, this will represent a group of organism which will share the common characteristic features like insects ka kya characteristic feature hota hai three pairs of jointed legs so insects are recognized by the objects that we can see that is three pairs of jointed legs so this can be given a rank or a category by seeing the characteristic features so insect this is a rank so this type of uh, classification process is studied in which subject that is the taxonomy the process of classification is what the taxonomy so category will further denote what the rank category ka jo um, next denotion hai that is called the rank first is group then comes the category then comes the rank and each level or each rank is called a taxon so this will remain represent what the unit of classification Okay, so how we'll find out the characteristic feature by looking at the features that is the internal features and external features of the organism which we are classifying. Okay, so the units of classification are called what taxon. Now you can see the different uh, categories or the ranks in the taxonomic hierarchy are kingdom, the largest one, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. The lowest category is the species and the highest category is the kingdom. And how we categorize? By seeing the characters of the organisms. How we find out the characters, the similarities, the dissimilarities among the individuals of the organisms. The other kinds of organisms all are compared and this basic knowledge is required for the process of classification. So what is the feature? The characters of the organisms is the basic feature that has to be followed while solving or while creating a taxonomic hierarchy. So categorize karne ke liye kya chahiye hoga? Characteristic features. Next we come to the main uh, arrangement of the taxonomic hierarchy from which we will start the lowest one that is the species. So what is species? Species are the group of organisms with similar 
characteristic features it is fundamental similarities or external features morphological features are what external features so bahari um, characteristic feature bahar se jo dikhai dega uske hisab se agar categorize karenge grouping karenge to that is called what the species so organisms with fundamental similarities are called as species और ये जो द लोएस्ट एकदम लोएस्ट टेक्सोनॉमी कैटेगरी का लोएस्ट रैंक है या ग्रुप है स्पीशीज एक स्पीशीज से दूसरा स्पीशीज का कैसे डिस्टिंग्विश कर सकते हैं बेस्ड ऑन द डिफरेंट मॉर्फोलॉजिकल फीचर्स या मॉर्फोलॉजिकल डिफरेंसेस एक स्पीशीज दूसरा स्पीशीज से कैसे डिनोट होगा बाई सींग द मॉर्फोलॉजिकल फीचर्स एक्सटर्नल फीचर्स सो इसके लिए एक एग्जाम्पल देंगे पैंथेरा लियो Panthera leo. Okay, this is the scientific name for the lion. Yesterday, uh, in the previous lecture, what I told that biological uh, or binomial nomenclature scientific name जो है इसमें दो हिस्सा होते हैं. So ये यहाँ पर lion का scientific name क्या है? Panthera leo. So which is the species name? This is the leo. Okay. So uh, Panthera leo represents the lion and species name represent the specific name that is the leo represents the specific name so in a species the sing the um, lowermost category of the taxonomy will contain different characteristic features which are morphologically similar so they will come under the same species okay the genus may have one or more than one specific epithets representing different organisms ये जो जेनस का नेम है इसमें पैंथर और लियो जो लिखा है ये स्पेसिफिक नेम है इसमें दो और जुड़ सकते हैं स्पीसीज नेम कुछ दूसरा जानवरों का दूसरा नाम भी आ सकता है विद द टू स्पेसिफिक एपिथेट्स ओके ह्यूमन बीइंग का साइंटिफिक नाम क्या है होमो सेपियंस सो होमो सेपियंस जेनस इज होमो एंड स्पीशीज नेम इज सेपियंस तो ये कहाँ से आया है ये नाम बाइसिंग द फीचर्स नेक्स्ट इज जेनस जेनस इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ रिलेटेड प्लेसिस क्लोजली रिलेटेड स्पीशीज एक साथ जुड़ के क्या बन जाएंगे जेनस ओके सो नेक्स्ट यू कैन सी द एग्जाम्पल इज पोटैटो एंड ब्रिंजल दे आर सिमिलरली रिलेटेड विद द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स सो दे आर ग्रुप पोटैटो एंड ब्रिंजल आर ग्रुप्ड इन टू द सेम जेनस दट इज सोलनम लायन एंड लेपर दे आर ग्रुप्ड इन टू द सेम जेनस पैंथरा पैंथरा because of what because of their closely related characteristic features all closely related species come under the group that is the genus next upper category is the family a group of related genus or genera comes together to form a family so here you can see the family uh, solanaceae where three different types of plants solanum thapthura and petunia all come under the same plant solanaceae this is for example but what is the definition the family constitutes a group of related genera okay next is order this follows the aggregates of characters while we are making an order then we'll have to find out the aggregate of characteristic features all the characteristic features are aggregated together and then it will form what the order this will be an assemblage of family and with few similar characteristic features so species the lower most many of the similar types of species together from the genus many genera together from the family and order many families will assemble together to form a family with a few similar characteristic feature next is the class many orders will be related together or formed together to form the class like order primata and order carnivora come under the class mammalia so many related orders primata and carnivora they are related but there are slight differences the related orders will come under the class mammalia both primata and carnivora come under the class mammalia next is phylum this will comprise of the organisms like the animals only we will talk about the phylum in the animals which will constitute the next higher category and all this will be based on the common features some common features will be there and with few similar characteristics when they will be grouped from the uh, classes they will be again 
combine together with few similar characteristic features so that becomes the phylum okay and the next for the plants is the division after class animals become phylum and plants become division then in case of plants also their classes will have few similar characteristic features and are grouped together in the higher category which is called the division so after class the higher category is phylum in the animals and in the plants it is division next the highest category is the kingdom all the animals will belong to the phylum they will grouped and assigned to the highest category called the kingdom animalia and kingdom plantae for the plants with all the plants from the various divisions so there are two groups of the kingdoms that is plantae and animalia now i will show you the next i'll show you the arrangement in the taxonomical hierarchy lowermost is the species then above that the higher is the genus above that is the family and then the higher category is order higher category is class above that the higher category is phylum or division division for the plants phylum for the animals and the highest category is the kingdom so today we have done up to the taxonomic categories showing the hierarchical arrangements in the ascending order how you are going from the lowermost to the topmost that is called the ascending order that means this is the lowest category and this is the highest category how we are traveling from the lowest to the highest that is the ascending order of the taxonomical hierarchy in the next lectures we will continue with this chapter Thank you.